Oh. Again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, but tarnished. What business hast thou here? I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this reunion. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choward, a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate. Good. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-wolven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis. Preceptor in the sorcerous arts also heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be do- Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counsellor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can, and pray for your success. Ah. I heard about you. Good to finally meet. Glad to have you aboard. Well, I'm situated in Limgrave right now. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below, see if I can't find. Don't keep me wait. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service. Ah, I shall soon enter my s- And it will be some t This doll's body is not without still. I look for- I shall soon, and it will be- I have high look. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. Uh. 
please, no. Dear me. <coughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait, then. You're not one of them? Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. And if you should meet the young Albinorek Latena, then please give it to her. A chosen land of... The medallion is the key that leads... It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey, but for dear Latena. What do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Put this time, and though the soft justice to let the scar. Apologies for that nasty business. Encher got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Encher is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Ah, yes. Allow me to tend to find the Albinoric woman. 
She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart, I'm sure. I told the old here that I possess. Or have you come with my other half? Oh. Do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. <sighs> then I've no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept... I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's farewell, Lobo. I will go with the tarnished. So that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah. Uh. You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what a man to do. A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Celibus. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But, I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or, would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own arse he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. Ah, so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorcerous arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Salavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boyish, is understandable. Let's have at it. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. 
I may have expected too much of her to begin with. We'll make do without it then. Oh, we will do this. Oh. Oh. Come on.
question is, is he still here? He is. What a patient guy. Back to learning? Why, of course. So you found yourself a glint? But I certainly can't take it from you. That key belongs to you. By right, you should use it for yourself. It's true. I wish to return to my place of study. But that's no excuse to impose upon others. Oh, is this why Bluntstones always finish last? Head to the Academy and carry on with your journey. Press forward with your fight. Don't bother holding yourself up for my sake. Head to the Academy of Rehaluka. I got you the first time. Oh. I take it you've heard of the Eternal City of Noxtella? Well, it has a twin known as Nokron. The other Eternal City. I've been in there already. After years of expeditions, <laughs> we've determined the location of Nokron by going underground through the well in the mistwood of Limgrave. You can see, you can see up Nokron up above. Up above. Oh. Only we failed to find a path leading to the city. That was below. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped, to be honest. I'm not sure where to go from here. Blythe is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. 